Okay, everybody, what you're looking at is a 1973 Johnson 50 horse outboard motor that has been completely rebuilt and refinished from the top all the way to the bottom. Everything has been gone through and made like new. Cowling painted. Very nice. All the trim on the cowling as well has been gone. And sand it down and painted, make it look sharp. New seal on the bottom here, that's new as well. The stern bracket, all the mechanisms, the bushings, fresh grease on there, all painted white. Now, the white you see on this is a Chevy Summit white. It's a very universal white, it's very bright goes with anything, it's very clean. All the way down to the lower brackets, down to the lower unit, has also been completely re refinished. And inside here as well, the oil pump, the shift mechanisms, the bearings, the seals, bushings, everything from the top all the way up to the engine has been redone thoroughly, thoroughly. It'll go up, exhaust housing, all the seals and exhaust housing have also been replaced and then babies are expensive also inside there you have the drive shaft it has a new drive shaft bearing it has a new water pump as well and here you can see the manufacturer's tag See how clean and nice it is on this side. Let's go to the front of the engine. Let's see the front tire there. Let's latch this down. You can see. That's pretty. Now we'll show the remote control. And then from there I'll take off the cow and show you the beautiful engine. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going to pull the tension cover off. And almost there. There she is. Sit this down. Okay, there she is, folks. Let's start at the front. A lot of the metal parts have been media blasted and painted silver to just give them a really nice, clean look carburetors have been completely rebuilt, tuned, they're just in great shape. All the mechanisms you see here for the uh, tire bay, the shifter, and the throttle have all been refinished as well. The electronics consist of a new stator, new timer base, new sensor coil, you got the new rectifier, the new power pack, the new terminal block cover, a completely new CDI electronics wiring harness. Okay. CDI electronics coils, new plugs, new starter solenoid, new power cables, brand new starter, new fuel pump, fresh fuel lines. And let's get you a look down in the engine base so you can really see what she looks like. Nice and clean. Like brand new. Basically what you're looking at here folks is a brand new 42 year old outboard motor. Even the flywheel has been refinished. Very nice. Okay now for the running video coming up. See you soon. Okay, everybody, this is the video of the running, but before I fire it up, I'm just going to give a brief description of what has been done to the power head itself, aka the engine. The engine itself was completely stripped of its original paint. It was uh, honed with new rings put in it, 
new bearings, new gaskets and seals, and crankshaft bearings are all new. The motor was painted with automotive grade paint, as you can see in that really nice deep navy blue. And so I figured if I could do all this pretty stuff to it, the most important thing would still be having a good solid engine. The compression ratio is right around factory spec. Uh, each cylinder is about 142, 143 psi, which is great. Okay, without further delay, I'm going to fire this thing up so you can see it running. I got the water hose going to it, so it'll burn it up. Okay, here we go. Give it a little bit of a choke. That's too much choke. Round it one more time. The water's coming out of the, the pee hole, as they call them, like it's supposed to. But I can't rev this thing too, too much. 
whenever it's just got a, a hose water supply going to it. Although that one time it did get away from me a bit. It's very torquey. But there she is, folks. And also, very importantly, this motor is for sale. And you will see this motor posted on eBay and a few other national sites around the same time this video will be posted on YouTube. So keep an eye out for it if you're interested and uh, stay tuned. Yeah.